Okay, you guys, I'm back. Now it's simmer. It's simmer that you say is boil. You see? It's already boiled. So when it starts boiling like that, you add the apple. Oh, and I forgot to say that you use just a sprinkle, just like a tiny bit of orange extract. It's like, a, you know, imitation. And it has alcohol and water, but it's going to um, evaporate, okay? And you let cook with the apple, because that's what's going to give the taste. You know, the apple is going to cook together. And this also made me go in the bathroom. I don't know why. I think every time I cook apple, and it makes me go in the bathroom. Okay, so I let it cook. And when it is like the the sauce is like very thick, you oh I forgot something. <laughs> okay, for you guys that use one tablespoon of milk or one tablespoon of uh, heavy whipped cream in the morning, we gonna we gonna add one tablespoon. Okay, just for um. It's, it's going to make the sauce a little thick, but it's just one tablespoon. But you, if you do that, you cannot have in the morning, okay? Now, if you're crazy like me, you have in the morning, you have a lunch. Okay, you see the color right now and the taste, people, this is fantastic. Okay, and that is the apples cooking. Oh uh, my my dog it's so dirty because it it goes everywhere and I don't wanna close. My kids are making so much noise, I'm sorry you guys. I'm trying to clean up here so we just This is a wonderful lunch. Right now I'm really playing with the protocol, like I never tried so many recipes and this one I really let it loose after when I went through with the hungry. So now I want to make my protocol fun because I'm going longer as I can go. Okay. Uh, we have about two minutes and it's a must ready. The apple's cooking because the chicken, remember, is already cooked because we, we fry on the coconut oil. So let it simmer a little bit. It's and for last, we're going to add the parsley, but it's for almost last. And okay, since you only have one tablespoon of uh, um, red bell pepper, you can eat this with another vegetable. So what I did, I made, I did uh, cauliflower, cauliflower rice, and I ate about half a cup of cauliflower rice with this on the top. Boys, this is, sounds like my food from Brazil, like rice, and we eat rice and beans with everything. So. I add the rice on the top, uh, uh, I add the, the chicken on the top of the rice and there was the bomb. Okay guys, this you see how thick is the sauce, I don't know if you can see here, but it's very thick. So now you just add the parsley. And I parsley just throw it like that, I don't know, you're going to do as you taste. And look, I'll show you, see if you can see the parsley, you see? Now it's gone and you just eat. You can throw in the top of your cauliflower rice, and if you don't like cauliflower rice, because some people think they don't, they don't do good, just eat with another type of vegetables. Cabbage, you can do a, like a cabbage too. Eat in the top is freaking delicious and peach friendly. You guys have a good day. I'm glad I made the recipe for you guys. Bye, besos, ciao.